Learning Styles, Competency 2 by Emily Booth and Denver Llewellyn. All students learn differently. This is a type of diversity. There are three types of learning styles. There's visual, auditory, and kinesthetic, but we will get to those after a while. Have you ever wondered what your learning style is? Well, we've created a quiz that will help you figure it out, so grab your pen and paper and we'll get started. What learning style are you? Take this quiz to find out. The goods you bought are faulty. Do you write a letter to the store, call the store to complain, or return to the store with the item to show the staff? You are thinking of buying a new car. Do you read reviews and look at pictures, ask friends for recommendations, or test drive a few models? When you're angry, do you replay what happened in your head, shout and yell, or slam the door and throw things? When you listen to music, are you most likely to sing along to the lyrics, listen or hum the melody, or snap your fingers and move to the beat? You want to cook something new, do you? Follow a recipe, ask a friend, or just experiment? You have to use some new equipment. Do you read the instructions and follow diagrams, get someone to explain it, or push buttons to figure it out? You're going somewhere new. Which will help you most? Reading a map, having someone or a GPS tell you directions, or follow your gut and head in the right direction? To solve a multiplication problem, do you jot it down on paper, count out loud like 5, 10, 15, or count on your fingers? If you scored, mostly A's, then you are a visual learner. Mostly B's means that you're an auditory learner. Mostly C's means that you are a kinesthetic learner. So now let's learn about them. First one we're going to look at is auditory learners. Auditory learners are able to learn best when they are able to hear things out loud. These auditory learners excel in a traditional type a traditional lecture type classroom and they take little notes at all. They read the text out loud to absorb the material. Also, auditory learners talk to themselves while working through problems and normally sit at the back of the class because they do not need to see the teacher while she's giving the lesson. Auditory learners also enjoy reading assignments rather than other types and prefer to repeat, what the, repeat the process of the teacher out loud so they understand the material. Next up is the kinesthetic learning style. Kinesthetic learners are able to learn best when they are doing something physical. This means that kinesthetic learners excel when working through problems on the overhead or dry erase board. And they also enjoy working through examples and practice problems to help learn. They enjoy working problems out as a class or even as individuals in front of the class. Practice is the key for any kinesthetic learner. Some tips on how kinesthetic learners can be more successful in mastering content is to chew gum while studying, or to walk around while reading your notes, or even simply tapping your foot up and down while studying. As long as the mind and the body are working at the same time, kinesthetic learners will have a greater chance of success. Next up, we're going to talk about visual learners. Visual learners are able to learn at their best when they are seeing the lesson right in front of them. This type of student excels in a classroom with visual stimulations such as diagrams, graphs, 
charts, and other things of this nature. The visual learner also enjoys to sit at the front of the classroom so they are able to see face-to-face -face what the teacher is doing and see the facial expressions so they can better understand the material. If they do not do this, many visual learners tend to lose interest if they sit at the back of the classroom or are in a traditional classroom. Also, benefits uh, for a teacher is PowerPoint presentations. So why do educators care about learning styles? To quote the late, great Albert Einstein, everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, then it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. It is important for educators to be aware of the different learning styles of their students so they will be better prepared to help their students learn. Catering to the needs of your students is a primary responsibility for teachers. How will we use this information in our classroom? Well, I think when it comes to auditory learners, that it's important to have students talk out loud when working through math or chemistry or really any type of problem. This can help students understand the material, especially if they're able to work um, through it and talk to themselves and say what they're doing in the problem. Group work is great for this sort of thing. What do you think? I agree. I think that another way that as teachers what we need to do to incorporate this in the classroom is to explain all aspects of the lesson in thorough detail so that students who are auditory learners can absorb the information as much as possible. What is a way that you think that we can uh, incorporate visual learners into the classroom? Well, I think with visual learners it's important to have them watch you work out specific problems so that these visual learners can see what you do and be able to repeat it on their own later through this method. I agree, and I also think a good way to incorporate this into the classroom is to make sure that when, when you're presenting a lesson or something like that, you need to have visual aids with like a PowerPoint that can appeal to the visual learner and also use things such as graphs and charts. Okay, and when it comes to kinesthetic learners, um, I think a good way to incorporate their learning style in the classroom is to have students work problems out on an individual dry erase board and then hold up their answers to be checked by the teacher. I agree, and that's also another way that students can do this is to work uh, work plenty of example problems and practice problems during the lesson so that that translates onto their homework. They can do this either as a class or individually.